When arranging our Sacco Scottish safari, our friend and guide Sergio Couto asked if we would like to hunt a roebuck with open sights. He is a big fan and has taken all six UK deer species with no optical assistance. I hardly go out myself with a, with a scope rifle. I prefer to take my open sight to have a bit more sport to it and get closer. If he, if he runs away, he's all fine by me. You know? uh, but yeah, I do, I, do like, I do like to try to get as close as possible. As we cannot do bow hunting in the UK, open sight is the closest we get. So. Unfortunately, we couldn't find an open sighted Saka rifle in time, so we went with the next best thing an aim point on top of Paul's Saka S20. How are you feeling? A bit jaded from yesterday, but chuffed after yesterday's results. And um, it's not raining, which is good. Sun's sort of out. But yeah, I feel good. He's been kind on us, hasn't he? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> not him upstairs. Oh. I'm talking about Kuto with the fact that he's picking up as a five. As a oh, yeah. Yeah, there was threatening before. Talk of three at one stage, and then it was 3.30. He kept putting it back. As we get closer, he's like putting it back half an hour each time, and then he said five. And um, so, yeah. So, five o'clock is absolutely yeah. perfect. Do you know what we're doing this morning? Um, what he said, we planned to go to a bit of forestry block um, where the animals should be a bit closer. So, we got the, got the old uh, 6.5 in there with an aim point on. So, fingers crossed that we can get a, a closer animal and we can shoot one with an aim point. <laughs> now, Serge is a free thinker. He's always challenging non shooters' perception of country sports. He's been inviting vegans and vegetarians out deer stalking for years, wow. and he sometimes does free meat offers to non hunters. The deal is, they have to pull the trigger. The basics of going out hunting was to get food in the first place, you know. We turn it into a little bit of a sport because and time goes by, people I think have to fight to eat. Now they have to fight not to eat because there's so much food available, isn't it? He also believes we need to be loud and proud about what we do, which is why he drives a bright red truck. I, you know, I'm not against camouflage. I'm not against it. And the problem there is a place and time for it. But I think in the UK especially, we use camouflage more to hide from people, not from animals, right? <laughs> so, and people, the general public, in my opinion, are afraid of what they don't know. If you are, have permission to be in a spot to hunt and you are legal to do what you are doing, why do we need to hide? We should be proud of what we do, not try to be, you know, hide ourselves away. The more we hide, the less notice we are, the less people know about us and it's just trouble. This morning we're hunting through mixed woodland with young plantations. Serge knows there are bucks in the area, but will they play ball? The first one doesn't stick around. We can hear it. Serge tries to bring it back into play with calling and rustling of the bushes. Sometimes this works, but not today. Then we hit Rose Central. Over the top of the wood pile is a buck. It stops in its tracks. There's another one much closer, aim point closer. See, Dave, see the back one, yeah? Back, you see? It's one, it's a No pressure on me. No pressure, no pressure on me. No. You have to carry someone that always hypers up a little bit. There he is, look. Is he coming in there? Yeah, when he's going behind that dip there. Going 
and then that's the fence uh, the buff. It's so funny because obviously you're stalking, you look with the binoculars, you, see, you put the aim point up, because that was how far was it? 69,000. Yeah, which didn't sound a lot in normal terms, but when you put the aim point up, it's like, okay, let's concentrate. So yeah, it's brilliant, yeah, exhilarated. This is a spot Sergio knows well. He helped plant the trees here. Lockdown, not much work to do, so planting trees. <laughs> uh, and I brought others. I did a January and February, so they asked me for a, for a hand. So we planted a lot of um, a lot of young plantations, pine and sitka. Uh, so in the end, they contacted me saying if I could keep on top of the the rodeo. So yeah, it was a plus plus. We got some job for the trees, and then hmm. some stocking. So I cannot complain about that. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice woodland, nice piece of ground, so I couldn't say no. They not even have to twist my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Back a little bit. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, thank you. Very yeah. good. That's very exciting. How far would you happily take a, an, open, um, an open sight shot? Well, with my one single shot, within 40, 40, 40 yards. And the closer you get, the faster the heart. It does, yes. And then, of course, with open sight, my open sights, I normally tend to use, tend to be freehand because she kicks a bit. <laughs> 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 the more, the more stable you put it, the bigger the kick. So freehand, I found that is, is actually more a snap shooting. Never lost an animal with it. Uh, is why I chose a 30 or 6 because I want, if to be open inside, I wanted to make enough damage. I don't want the animal to to run or so. Yeah, could be a bit, could be my own sport, but I do enjoy it. Yes, I do enjoy it. It's another successful outing with Circuit Wild Harvest, the name of Sergio's outfit, not with open sights, but a high-tech alternative. For more information about the SACO S20 range, go to sacco.fi.